thank you. Thank you, everyone. Uh, my, as my name, is this okay? Uh, my name is uh, Faisal Shehdad, and I work for uh, AWS Professional Services and um, at Amazon, of course. Uh, so today, uh, I'm going to speak to you about how you can integrate your AWS uh, CloudWatch data source with the Grafana dashboards. Uh, for you to understand the demo uh, better, so I have some, I've set some ag agenda for you. So today we will first start with what, what Grafana is. Of course, every one of you knows that. Uh, we'll then uh, take a brief uh, look at the Amazon managed service for Grafana and how you can quickly get started. Uh, then we'll talk about some of the use cases. And, uh, and at the end, we will have a small video demo presentation uh, about how you can integrate Amazon CloudWatch with, uh, with Amazon managed Grafana uh, workspace and create dashboards um, from your CloudWatch logs or your CloudWatch metrics. Uh, First, let's get started. What is Grafana? Uh, all of you know that Grafana is uniquely Grafana uniquely visualizes and combines insights uh, from multiple open source cloud or third party data sources uh, without moving the data. Uh, and it has become among uh, the most popular operational da dashboard technologies in the world. How do I know? Uh, I'll take you to the CNCF survey back, which was done back in 2020, uh, which revealed that around 69% of uh, the enterprise customers use Prometheus and Grafana because of its uh, you know, uh, shorter deployment time, uh, improved stability or scalability, and also its cloud portability. So you can use it with, with multiple clouds. Uh, and at AWS, we offer Amazon Managed Grafana service. Uh, we, we call it Amazon Managed Service for Grafana, um, and which is a fully managed service, uh, multi-cloud, uh, cross-project services uh, with interactive data visualization uh, capabilities. Uh, and using uh, managed Grafana, you can analyze, monitor, and set alarms on metrics, uh, logs, traces um, across multiple data sources, including AWS or other cloud, cloud providers. Uh, or third-party ISVs and also databases. And Amazon Managed Grafana natively integrates with AWS services uh, and supports plugins from all the other cloud vendors uh, and whatever you know you use. Uh, but then also you can securely add, query, or visualize your or analyze your AWS data across multiple accounts and regions just with with few clicks on the AWS Management Console. And for those of you who don't know what a managed service is, at AWS we define it as, uh, for example, we define managed Grafana as which completely offloads the operational management of Grafana by automatically scaling compute and database infrastructure as usage demand increases. Uh, and with automated version updates and also uh, security patching, is, it comes out of the box. So the customers or you, you don't have to worry about the underlying infrastructure, it automatically scales as and when uh, the demand increases. And also Managed Grafana also integrates with AWS uh, Identity, um, uh, Identity Center, which, is, which was previously known as AWS SSO. I hope you might have used it uh, to ensure that your, uh, that your corporate directory users can also uh, get access uh, to the dashboards and also to, on, also to data sources which they should have permission to. And, uh, and speaking of, of data sources, it's not just AWS uh, services that you can query and visualize uh, data from. Uh, the managed Grafana service also supports a plethora of, um, of other plugins that are built or developed by Grafana Labs and also the, the community members over the years. As you can see on the left, um, you can uh, also integrate uh, you know, your self-managed Graphite or uh, DB. Uh, or InfluxDB sources as, as, and if you want to also consolidate all the information or, or all the observability data stored in Amazon or Azure, Azure Monitor or uh, Google Operations, then you can simply you know, use a plugin and, and get started. And uh, when talking about, uh, I've also talked uh, about this before, Grafana's power lies in its ability to integrate with multiple data sources and also enable customers to bring all the data sources in, in one place, uh, be it logs, metrics, or traces from, from your either from your IoT devices and, and much more. 
and, and some of the data sources that AWS integrates, that you can integrate it, you know, Grafana with is AWS CloudWatch, which is, which is today's talk, and at the end I will show you how, how we can do that, but also uh, X-ray for traces and so on and so forth. You can also use Amazon, uh, you can also upgrade to Grafana Enterprise uh, from the AWS Management Console itself, and if you do that, you will get access to even more enterprise plugins uh, that can um, give you more flexibility and options to unify and, and visualize your data, which, are, which, which you want on the, on the managed uh, enterprise uh, Grafana workspace. And that, that leads us to the question, how do we get really started with, with Amazon managed database? Uh, it's, it's very simple. All you need to do is to go down to your AWS console and look for Amazon managed Grafana service. Uh, you can create a, and just create a workspace over there. Uh, you can integrate your IAM users or your SSO users. Uh, also, then you can kind of set the notifications through AWS SNS, which is the, one of the notification services there, and click finish, that's all. And once, once that's done, then you, will, uh, you can then add or connect to data sources that you wish, you wish to add. And once that's done, uh, then you will get the unique URL which uh, you can use to access your, your dashboard. And uh, let, let's see how that works in action. Um, first, you, you go down to your AWS console and then look for Amazon Grafana, uh, Grafana service and click a, a workspace. Uh, then configure the settings, which is uh, if you want to add your AWS users or if you want to add other users. Is, um, you can also add the, the users who are not in the AWS identity center. And, and that's it. Then also select the services that you wish, like, you wish to integrate with, uh, which will automatically add the right permissions um, from the IAM to the Amazon managed uh, Grafana. Um, and, and that's it. Uh, that is, that's how you get started. And once you click on finish, then you will, you will see this screen, which will give you the unique URL that you can use to access the dashboard. Or if you want to share it with whoever you wish to share it with, you can also do that. And uh, once the data sources are connected, and then you can create cool dashboards, like you see one uh, on the screen. Um, and also, you know, you can share, like I said, you can share it with uh, whoever you, you wish to share it with. And before we start the demo, or before I play the, the video, uh, let's first talk, let's maybe talk about some of the use cases that you might be seeing, and also we have seen at, at AWS, our customers use Grafana for it. One of them is the, for unified ob observability. Uh, you can use Amazon Managed Grafana to centralize and correlate data into a single dashboard. Uh, then also you can use this for uh, creating dashboards for your uh, container monitoring. For example, if you're using Amazon EKS service or Amazon ECS service, which is the container service, you can use uh, CloudWatch integrated with, with CloudWatch, which I'm going to show you today, and then uh, create cool looking dashboards and also share it with others. But it, that's not all. You can also use um, you know, services from other cloud vendors. Then you can also plug them in, plug it in using the uh, third party plugins. And the third one is for, you, you can use Grafana for like, have one dashboard for all of your data sources. For example, if you have a team or, or different teams using different data sources, you can use AWS uh, Grafana or AWS Managed Grafana to create one single view for all of your data sources. And uh, also you can use Amazon Managed Grafana for troubleshooting operational uh, issues collaboratively, for example, uh, if there's an issue and, uh, and your team is kind of working on it, you can share the Grafana dashboard with your stakeholders so that all of your team members who are kind of troubleshooting and also looking at how the is, if the issue is resolved or not, you will be able to share it with, with, the, same, with the people from the same link, for example, uh, to, to, to get the higher visibility of if everyone is looking at the same, same issue and if it gets uh, resolved or not. But then that's not all. You can also publicly share your, uh, your dashboards using, uh, using the links or the, or the URL, either uh, with your own team or, who is, or with someone who is not uh, part of AWS Identity Center. And also, my colleague Yem is going to uh, show you how, uh, how to also monitor IoT 
IoT devices using using Grafana, but then Grafana has a very good use case for that because Grafana's extensible data plugin uh, architecture and flexible graphing um, options makes it popular for monitoring IoT devices also. If you have seen near the um, Ask the Experts uh, booth, there is a company who is there, they have created this cool looking dashboard uh, and they are taking data from the IoT devices, but also my friend Guillaume is going to show you uh, that in action. Uh, but that's not all. Uh, you can also use Grafana for um, software development lifecycle purposes or for software development lifecycle monitoring. Uh, if you upgrade to the Grafana Enterprise, then you can, you can leverage the uh, Atlassian Jira plugin uh, to pull all the software development lifecycle artifacts that can uh, then track pull requests and also code commits and can monitor uh, release, uh, you know, software releases alongside uh, the application health and performance data and all in one place. Um, and with that, I'll just I'll start a demo uh, a demo video, and in that demo video, it takes approximately two minutes uh, to finish, where you will see how uh, to connect the Amazon Managed Grafana with the CloudWatch uh, data source and uh, how to build cool-looking dashboards uh, for your CloudWatch logs and of also your CloudWatch metrics. So let me now do that. So just give you some, some context, I'd already deployed a workspace in the Amazon uh, you know, account, and that's how it looks. So now let's play the video and then see how, how to add the dashboards. And first of all, once, once you get access, you can go down to the data sources and look for CloudWatch. And you can also see how many other, other data sources also you can, you can use uh, with, uh, with, uh, with the managed uh, service. Uh, search for CloudWatch, and that's how you get, I've already installed it by the way, so that um, it's easier. And then by default you get some of the dashboards, so you can import these dashboards or create your own, but in this case we're going to create our own dashboards. So go down to the panel, create one of the panels, uh, uh, select the right region from where you wish to, where you are kind of running the services and stuff. Um, go, uh, go down to the Amazon uh, CloudWatch logs, and then you can add your query, and um, however you wish to do. It. In this case, I am using. Um, I'm just taking. Uh, I'm filtering all the uh, not 200 errors. I mean, with, uh, an error code which is not 200, so that uh, I'm able to, uh, you know, put the dashboards out there. But then after that, I'll add another dashboard uh, for uh, for the response code which is equal to 200. Uh, so that you get to see uh, also that dashboard which which is not uh, which has not errored, for example. Uh, and there's also one more dashboard I wish to add. I wish to take the uh, metrics from the ECS that I've created uh, previously. I wish to uh, look for the average u uh, CPU utilization and also add that to uh, to the dashboard. And that's it. You will get get to see the ECS average average util, uh, EKS uh, pass, uh, pass counts, and also EKS error counts. So that's all for this. If you have any questions later on, I can uh, you know come back. You can come back to me, and we can have a chat on this. Uh, uh, but let's just quickly recap. Um, uh, so uh, it's very easy, you have seen it's very easy to create a Grafana workspace using AWS Managed Services to bring together uh, observability data sources across multiple uh, AWS services and also across, across multiple uh, clouds. Uh, but secondly, you have seen that Grafana dashboards, um, Grafana workspaces are fully managed uh, with automatic security patching and also version upgrades. So you do not have to worry about the underlying infrastructure, AWS takes care of that. That's why it's called as Amazon Amazon Managed Service. Uh, but also, uh, you can deploy, uh, you can use this to get uh, data from from multiple services which are deployed across regions. Uh, and last but not the least, uh, you can also uh, easily upgrade, uh, you know, uh, to Amazon Grafana Enterprise version, where you will get to see more enterprise level plugins, which you which you wish to update or maybe use uh, with your use cases. And that's it. I will leave you with these uh, resources. Uh, you can go go down to Google and then uh, look also for this if you want to know more about it. So 
the first one is the uh, is the is the Grafana uh, documentation, and the second one is also public roadmap that AWS has published, where uh, you can you have like full transparency over uh, whenever new services or new features are to be added. Uh, but yeah, with that, there's also a documentation link. Uh, and thank you uh, for your attention. But if you have any questions, I will be here. Uh, you can also reach out to me over my email or maybe use uh, the um, Slack uh, for Grafana. I'm also um, you know, connected there. And, and that's it. Thank you very much for your attention.